What's going on guys? This is Tropical Fish Guy and uh, today what we're going to talk about is cleaning the power filter. Okay, so I've just moved my aquarium from my daughter's room upstairs down into the living room. Uh, so as you can possibly tell, and I'll zoom in closer, uh, the aquarium is, is dirty. I drained the water. Here, I'll be giant. You ain't got to look at me. Let's see. So, the aquarium, I drained it all the way down, and you got to do that when you're moving the fish tank, obviously. Uh, you leave a little bit of water in there so your fish don't die. The fish are hiding in there, obviously. Um, unplug everything and move everything down. Uh, the power filter, the overhang filter, is very dirty. had not been cleaned in a long time, so today I'm going to show you how to clean that aquarium, and we're going to refill the water and make this tank pretty again. Okay. I'll give you step-by-step -step instructions on how you can uh, set up a fish tank pretty much from scratch. Uh, this is uh, straight from my daughter's room, like I said and I'm going to show you how to set up a fish tank. So uh, what we're going to talk about here is setting up a fish tank, whether it's new, used. Uh, new, new is a little bit different, but uh, it's the same concept, but we'll walk through it and we'll t walk through cleaning the power filter as well. What you need to do is we need to, um, since there's no filtration going, the water's kind of stagnant, it's been, stagnant, it's been um, a couple of minutes since I brought it down I was taking a break and everything and just hanging out and seeing what's going on so what I've got here is let's talk about the components got the aquarium here um, I left all the the rocks and the a couple of the plants in there I've got the heater uh, and I've got the power filter so uh, the power filter is, is my only filter. It's a great filter uh, for a 10 gallon. This is a 10 gallon tank aquarium. So I would recommend, uh, if, depending on this, the type of fish, but a good basic uh, overall filter, you know, general filter is this AquaClear filter. So this power filter is a AquaClear, AquaClear 20. It is suitable for gallons up uh, for aquariums up to 20 gallons. Uh, so this is it'll be just plenty fine for a 10 gallon tank, and it it's, uh, can go down to five gallon tank. So uh, it's perfect for this. This is going to be our community fish tank. We're going to put um, uh, some. Uh, it's it's got some rosy barbs and some neons right now, but of course we're moving the location they're kind of stressed out i left the air stone on just for a little circulation for just for a few minutes until we get the fish tank set up again um, so let's see here so what we need to do is we need to first the point of this video is to clean the filter so cleaning the aqua clear filter which is a power filter uh, this AquaClear I would highly recommend because it has um, three stages of filtration, and um, which is mechanical, biological, and chemical. And I'll go th uh, over those uh, filtration stages probably in a later video, maybe some today. But uh, for right now, the point is how to clean the power filter. So as you can tell, it's pretty dirty. Just lift that up. I'm going to uh, position this camera to where maybe I can do it a little bit better. Let me see. So we're going to grab the cord. Make sure you are not dragging your cord everywhere. So I'm going to take this. And you want to find a good place to clean it. Um, Probably not your kitchen sink. If you have a, a bathroom or utility room or something, but we're going to grab this and it's pretty filthy looking. So we're going to head on down into the uh, little bathroom here. You want to make sure. Let me 
turn on this light. Hey, all right, there we are. What's going on? So, we've got this dirty filter. The, the main thing is you want to take off the motor, okay? So the way you do that is you would twist, twist this motor off like this. It's hard to do with one hand, but there you go, twist it off. It's got the impeller inside. The impeller is probably, it won't focus that well, let's see here. The impeller is one of the most important pieces to this, and actually one of the most, the motor is one of the most expensive parts. But uh, this filter isn't that expensive. Maybe I think like, I'll put a link in the description. I am affiliate to this, so if you buy it from me, uh, it is a good way to uh, support this channel. So, and I do appreciate it very much. So we want to pull this. Uh, let me let me set up the the. I'm gonna set up the camera to where it will be better. All right. Hopefully you can see this, and it's not too blurry. Um, we've got the. Let's see here if I can get this back. So we've got the filter. I took the um, motor off. And what you want to do is you want to pull this impeller. It's the thing that goes around the motor. You want to pull that out and you'll see all the, the grime and stuff that's on that motor, on the impeller. You want to clean that off. Now when we're cleaning this filter, we're only using water. Just water, not soap. We don't use soap on that. Uh, so we want to run this, and you can see that even when you're turning the impeller, don't don't expect it to turn all the way. It only goes full circle. Okay, it doesn't create a spin. So we're going to clean this off. That's very important because this is the part that actually spins and does the job of cleaning. So we don't want to, like I did, we don't want to leave this in. So we want to clean the inside of the motor housing where the impeller was. And normally you would take a, I don't have one here and I don't want to go get it real quick. But uh, just to show you, you want to get a, scrubby, a scrub brush and clean that. And I'll show you in a different uh, video. But uh, you definitely want to get that clean in there. So, so we're running water inside the housing. You can see that right there. Okay, and then scrub it with a brush in there. But, just for demonstration's sake, I'm cleaning it off real good. That's good. And then place the impeller, this is the brownie thing that spins, it's called the impeller, back into the motor housing. Okay, so we're good there. Now, the case, right? We want to, I think I need a better angle here. I'm trying to do this for you guys, so we want to take This off, the tube off, right, of the casing. I want to clean that real good. And I'll do another video on how to do this, but just, you know, I have to do this fast because the fish are in, in the tank that I just moved. So I will, but this is just a quick demonstration. You want to pull that off. You've got the two pieces there. You want to clean off. Make sure that the tubing is pretty clear going all the way down. You want to make sure what's really important is to get all the debris out of the slits here. This is called the intake tube, okay? The intake tube, okay? Make sure that there's, look at that, that's pretty clean there. So, see this little part right here? This is the, 
where you put it in and you turn the, the, the volume of the water, the water flow level, actually. So that part's clean, that part's clean. You're going to pull out the filter media. Okay, so the best, the good thing about this AquaClear is, and the reason why I highly suggest it is because of the three stages of filters. Okay, first of all, you got the foam filter. This is the foam filter. Okay, the foam filter serves, at, and that's dirty. And I will, I would replace it. I'd go upstairs and get a new one, but just for this demo, and you can reuse these. I mean, you can just uh, squeeze it out. But the, the purpose of this is mechanical filtration. But a secondary purpose is biological filtration. But mostly it's mechanical filtration. What that means is it picks up the big chunks of, of junk that comes through the filter. You know, like old fish, you know, big chunks of fish food and, you know, fish poop and that kind of thing. So you want to see, you want to make sure just with warm water that you clean this and it's starting to get clean already, which is fine. But the, the secondary part of this filter, which is important and the reason why you don't have to every time replace this, is that it contains the beneficial bacteria, right? The bacteria is what keeps the fish alive. And you need the bacteria, just like we need bacteria, um, to stay alive. So. The key in keeping fish is to maintain proper water quality, and this will help do that. So you can see that uh, this looks almost brand new. Well, not really, but it's brand new enough. See that? That's pretty good. Okay, so that's one. The second stage, and you do have to replace this, and I'm gonna go get another one real quick, is the carbon filter. The carbon filter, you can see, I don't know if you can see, but there's brown junk that builds up. Um, it's not very, uh, if you put it to your ear, if you put it to your ear and listen to it, it doesn't sizzle like it used to. Really, it does sizzle when it's brand new. And I'll go ahead and show you that now. I'm going to go get another filter. So the filter for, the carbon filter that's used for this um, power filter, the, the AquaClear 20, I would suggest uh, the three pack because you go through these, you replace this every time you uh, do a major water change on here, uh, I'd say at least once a month, right? So you grab one of these, open it up, and you don't, and you just want to, uh, and see how, let's compare, right? This compared to this, right? You can maybe tell how dirty this one looks compared to the fresh one, right? And I'm going to run cold water through it. And just enough, I don't know if you can tell, but there's the black carbon coming off it, just, just to get the powder off it. And you can hear, you can hear, And get all this water off. You can hear. Let me put that in here. Probably you can't hear that, but it sounds like you just put a steak on the grill. Great sound. It's a sizzle, right? So that's good on stage two. And when you throw away this this old old carbon filter, never use the carbon filter. Chunk it in the trash. Okay. So the third stage is this. Bio beads, right? You can use bio beads, bio balls, bio chem stars, whatever. But these that came with it, I, I bought, I got a little uh, a mesh, mesh sack, mesh bag, and I stuck in these bio beads, right? These bio beads, you just run some water through them. Uh, you don't want to clean them too much. Well, you do, but uh, these have these are porous materials. And they do the third stage of filtration called the biological filtration, right? Which houses the bacteria. So you got kind of two things. You got the uh, foam filter and you got the bio 
can uh, biochem beads here that have filtration. So mechanical, chemical, which takes out like uh, hairspray, uh, medicines, chemicals, anything in the air or in the, that goes into the water that can cause chemical problems for the fish. You know, like um, uh, any type of deodorant spray or any type, you know, any kind of chemicals that can kill the fish, right? So, three filtration levels. Mechanical, chemical, biological, right? So put that back and then we'll rinse off the, the basket that it comes with. Rinse it off real good. We're going to rinse off this looks like junk right here, so we're going to clean the housing. I clean the housing real good. And I'm kind of in a hurry because the fish are in there. They won't last forever, but they'll last, they'll last that little bit, maybe a few hours, an hour or two, not a few hours, but maybe a few hours, who knows. But uh, let's not test that theory, right? And I've been doing this for a long time, so I know what I'm doing. I used to have a, uh, I used to work at the pet stores and I used to have my own aquarium maintenance company back in the day. So this looks pretty clean. You remember how it used to look? Dirty as heck. But that looks clean right there. So we're going to put everything back together. All right. So we're going to take the basket. Number one. We're going to put Here's the basket, what the basket looks like. So we're going to put the foam filter in. We're going to put the chemical filter in. And we're going to put the bio beads back in. We're going to package it all up. Check it out. Package it all up. Take the filter. Stick it in the holder. Boom. Push it all the way down. Do you hear the click? Click, click, click. Okay. We're going to take the motor and start. I'll show you. This is this is a trick that a lot of people can't get right there. So what that was was how you pulled it out. Just reverse. Put it back in and twist it. Make sure it's flush right there, right? Good. Now we want to put the uh, face this toward you, this this opening, and the little handle here goes in here, like that. So you can other side, so you can control the flow of the water, and then you want to put this back on the bottom. Bam! Now you have a clean filter. Pretty cool, huh? Now we're going to set this back in the aquarium and I'll show you how to set that back up. So we got the clean filter here and we're going to just set it. Just going to set it inside or on the outside of the tank for now and make sure that make sure that Make sure that the tube goes all the way in and connects. And when you switch it left and right, you can tell that it's inside. That it that it fits inside the round hole. So the water flows. If, if the water doesn't flow, that's probably why. Okay. All right, so we've got that. Now what we need to do is fill up the aquarium. So we got the bucket full of stuff. Uh, we also have to clean the top off too. And uh, obviously it's pretty dirty. I'll go ahead and clean that top. Look at that. Pretty nasty, huh? Let's clean the top. Just scrub off the top here, make it look new, brand new here. Scrub off the top, scrub off the top. And all this is from salt, which the dechlorinator has. Get old 
shots right there. Looks good. Looks good. And the hard part is the underneath side of it. I really don't really not normally if it's good we want to look how algae is covering up that light so we want to clean off that light get into these cracks and crevices normally we would use a scrubbing brush but right now this will do I mean you know every time you clean this thing you're spending you know just a few minutes a month if you're doing oh and you don't want to do that but I only have one hand because I'm you don't want to take that plug that, into the water right so let's clean let's clean let's clean let's clean this so after you've cleaned that top look how clean that looks that's pretty cool looking huh all the lights are clean so the lights will shine down top looks like it's brand new I mean, all you got to do is give it a little love. Um, let's go ahead and get the bucket and fill up the tank. Okay, so we've got our bucket here. Uh, it's just a couple of gallon bucket. Any bucket will do. Um, and we also got this gravel vacuum. Okay, the gravel vacuum, you were probably wondering, how do I get the water from the sink into this bucket? in a semi-efficient manner right so you like well i got this bucket and i can't really stick it in there all the water will, will roll out so what do i do okay so the gravel vacuum serves two purposes right number one for cleaning the aquarium and i'll show you how to clean the aquarium in a different video but in this case i'm going to kind of rig the water to go from the faucet into the bucket. Okay, so turn on the water. Let me clean off the sink here before my wife gets mad at me. I don't want that, you know. All these crazy videos I do. Clean the fish tank and such. Okay, so we got the water running. Uh, I'm going to just take this. Use my hand, the water runs down, and look at that, fills up the bucket. So all I'm doing is holding, and of course there's some water that's going to come out, but I mean, it's a lot easier than trying to fill up a bucket, right? Where you just sit here, have you a drink or something, and make sure that you pay attention to the bucket being filled. So once the bucket's filled, walk over and dump out the water into the aquarium okay so another thing to consider a couple of things to consider okay when you're filling up the bucket you want to use water um, that's the same about the same temperature as uh, the fish tank so that you don't shock your fish okay and to do that i'll show you the uh thermometer one other piece of equipment that you need is a thermometer for your aquarium to monitor the uh, temperature of the water so uh, i don't know if you can tell the on this thermometer but there's a green range which you want the um, the water to be uh, depending on the type of fish anywhere from you know 75 to 80 for tropical fish you know uh, varies depending on type of fish but if you're in the green you're good green is good so we want when you're filling up the the bucket you want to make sure that you get a reading of the water to make sure that it is in the green line okay another note 
is to make sure this is probably very important as, as well as the temperature you need to dechlorinate your water which means make it not toxic so the best dechlorinator that I've used and I've been doing this for decades so I know what I'm talking about is ammo lock and I'll put a description in, the, in uh, a link in the description below uh, or on the blog and I will let you know exactly what uh, what to order so the ammo lock from API Amer uh, Aquarium Pharmaceuticals Inc uh, something like that uh, so definitely use that so for a couple of gallon bucket you want to use a capful i use a capful for this size bucket this bucket's a couple of gallons uh, maybe five gallon bucket eh, not really five gallon maybe two or three gallon bucket but to be safe and you can't overdose the fish on this stuff so a capful for a bucket is good and i'll show you if i can let's see here I'll show you. Uh, let's see here. Put that down. That's a capful there. Into the bucket. It says works instantly, but I like to let it dissolve a little bit. Uh, about a minute or so, you know. And uh, and I pour water into the aquarium all right so by the time i got the bucket to the aquarium i'm going to pour it in uh i'll need both hands for this so i don't think i need to show you how to pour water into the aquarium but just be gentle and uh don't freak out the fish too much it's going to freak out the fish but you know you just don't want to make it too much but before we do that, what we're going to do is this is a great opportunity to clean the inside of the aquarium. So normally you'll have an algae scrubber. Right now I'm in a hurry and I'll do another video on cleaning the fish tank. But normally you would not take out this much water when you're cleaning the fish tank. So I'll do a proper video on cleaning the fish tank. You do a partial, what's known as a partial water change. Uh, but for right now we're going to make it nice and pretty you can use uh, any type of scrubber as long as it's not your kitchen scrubber with all the dishwashing liquid on it you don't want any type of soap any type of detergent just plain water and I'm going to clean the, the sides here and you can feel normally you wouldn't you're doing this with your fingers but for today I'm going to so we've got we've got nice clean tank and you know I would do the tops and stuff and make it pretty and but you know normally this would be done with the scrubbing brush and I would take better time doing it and I wouldn't let it you know if you let this salt go into the tank it's okay I mean that's what the water changes for no big deal so I'm gonna go ahead and pour the water in there after I've cleaned it all right so I've almost got the aquarium full uh, one other tip is getting this filter started is to set it at full speed and to fill it with dechlorinated water you got to fill it you hear it bubbling up and as it flows out and fill the rest of the tank and leave a little bit of water left over because it will need to run follow the cord here and plug in the aquarium, the filter. So once you plug in the filter, you'll hear it start to bubble and gurgle. And don't worry, it'll take a minute or two. And you'll see that 
air bubbles will show up. You ain't gotta worry about nothing like that. It'll start to fill up with water. And look, lo and behold, it's starting to flow. All right? So that is you can tap that. There we go. So that is high left and low right high yep so you want to turn it left and right until but no more air bubble pretty cool huh water's flowing good filters going put the top back on and we're ready to rock and roll so okay let's put the top back on so we're positioning this filter, just scoot it over a little bit to where the top will fit. Scoot it over some more. Oh, and you saw that I spilt water, that naturally happens all the time. That's why we have the handy dandy towel with us. Make sure you wipe off all the spilt water that you've got everywhere, especially in the back of the aquarium. You'll get a lot of water there. Okay, so you want to put the tubes and the wires in their appropriate slots here on the back. Right there, you want to snap this, snap these on. The top is on. Uh, you want to put the top on back on the filter. I've got it upstairs or lost it or whatever but you'll have yours wipe off the tank I'm going to plug in the let's see there we go there we go so make sure everything's working good perfect all right fish feeding hole there good wipe off the front um, I'm going to take this plug here and plug her in for the top. We want to make sure that, let's see what does this do, oh this is the, what is, this is the, what is this for? This is the heater. Okay, that's the heater. We got the heater. I'll put a link of the heater because you absolutely need a heater in the winter time. You want to kill your fish. You don't want to kill your fish. And I'll show you how to set the heater in a different video. Um, but we got it going. Let's turn on the light to see if the light works. Where is the light switch? Right behind the aquarium. Here we go. Look at that, huh? Boom. Now, you're gonna see at first that it's all cloudy and stuff, but once everything settles down, it's gonna be nice and clear. So, and there's actually still a little bit more water I could put in there, but we'll leave that for now, it's no big deal. And uh, there you have it. Um, so, we went over quite a bit today. Went over uh, moving the aquarium and cleaning the filter and resetting up the aquarium in its new location. And as you can see, a day later, it looks crystal clear. The filter is going real good. It's on low. Uh, we had a casualty or two moving the tank. Unfortunately, that happens, but look how clear that water is. It looks like you can just Looks like there's not even water in there, but you can see that air stone going. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you move a fish tank, and that is how you clean the filter. Uh, this is tropicalfishguy.com. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, give me a like. If you got any questions, put it in the box below, and I'll be happy to answer them. So... Um, that's how you do it and look forward to make sure you hit the little notification icon to get more of my videos 
And uh, peace out.